In other news, authorities are investigating after a truck driver is killed in a freak accident along the Pennsylvania Turnpike. It happened on Wednesday inside the heavily traveled Lehigh Tunnel on the Northeast Extension. Our Trang Dell is live now in the CBS3 News Center with the tragic details. Trang. Over Helen, Jim Howard Sexton was killed just doing his job like he had for the past 17 years with Raymore and Flanagan Furniture. His wife of 25 years told Eyewitness News he was a wonderful husband and planned to retire this summer. Sexton's niece is now speaking out about the family's search for answers in this very troubling case. Every night that's what he did, the same run. And, uh, you know, this was his last. Debbie Elliott is in shock and disbelief over the freak accident that killed her uncle Wednesday. It was the evening rush hour, and Howard Sexton, a truck driver for Raymore and Flanagan, was traveling south in the Lehigh Tunnel on the Northeast Extension when a metal pipe protecting electrical wiring fell and came crashing through his windshield. The 70 year old Middleton, New Jersey man was killed when the pipe struck him in the head. I got the call at work that he was killed. Um, it was very difficult because my uncle has always meant a lot to me. The tractor trailer was filled with furniture and continued for another mile before coming to rest on the shoulder of the highway. PA Turnpike engineers are now investigating what caused the heavy piping to fall. Records show the tunnel was up to date on routine inspections, most recently in September 2016, with the next one scheduled for this September. Even before the accident, plans to replace the lighting systems in both Lehigh tunnels were underway. Now we're hoping for some answers uh, on how this could happen, how this freak accident actually happened. While they wait for answers, Sexton's family is remembering him as a family man who loved his job. Always smiling, always laughing, <laughs> um, just fun-loving, good-natured. And Sexton's autopsy will be performed later today. And next month, the Turnpike Commission is expected to approve a bid to replace that tunnel lighting, including the section that fell down and caused this tragic accident. But for now, we're live from the News Center. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Trang.